Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, let's try to do the cloth around this handle, a cloth or you can call a leather strip also there uh, or the cloth, whatever you wanted to create, you can do it. So I, I just trying to explore different ways and uh, and I just wanted to get a speed uh, model of it i mean I, I just wanted to do it quickly so i was exploring different methods so i found one uh, method uh, quite interesting let's see how i can generally make this model uh, very quickly so i uh, take this uh, primitive called helix okay and then i just uh, place it here and then uh, go to the channel box and then increase the height of this uh, so let, let me put this aside here so that you could able to see it. Uh, I'll also increase the width of this and uh, and also reduce the subdivision axis there. And uh, I'll uh, increase the um, radius of this and uh, I'll also increase the coils of this particular model. So you should able to see I got a very quick spiral shaped model. and. Uh, this is what I want so I'm going to select the face here and uh, delete that face okay and then I select this one and delete it and uh, select this line double click it so I'm just double clicking this line and then go to the uh, convert selection to faces tool and then grow selection from there go to the select and then we have this uh, grow selection feature here um, from here okay grow selection and then I uh, can use a shortcut for grow selection for the next step and then just delete it and I just wanted to delete this middle line so I'm going to hold shift and delete edge shift right click and then use the delete edge tool and then you get this quick spiral model here now it is time to place it uh, here like that and uh, I'll be using the deformer so go to the rigging, a day form, and then choose non-linear um, flare, and then increase the curve, okay, and then delete the history of this particular model, and then go to the deformer again, non-linear bend, and then put the curvature value like that. So you get the model almost close, and then just move it like that okay and then just slightly scale it and uh, I could see um, it's almost uh, close okay it should be almost close to the model okay if anywhere if it's not uh, gelling up try uh, spend some time and then just place it nicely like that once that is done here okay what you need to do is you need to select the handle and then just say make live and then that object becomes live and select this model and then use the squared draw model and then um, you can start placing these points on the model just try to uh, make it uneven like that
so i've got all this uh, model draped around this and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to select that all faces uh, in the face component mode and i use this tool called extrude okay and then just drag it outside like that so what i've got is the thickness i just press 3 and then you should able to see that nice uh, thing and now what i need to do is i, I need to add a little bit of details there uh, before going into this step i'll just take one step back i uh, make it live again and then go to the quadra i missed uh, some faces here So there was a gap so I, I just uh, took one step back and then select the faces, extrude the face like that. Okay so I will extrude it once again and then scale it Y. I just slightly move it in now I select this line and then use this tool called connect components and uh, I will scale this I can use the transform component tool here and then just push it slightly in so that gives that nice concave uh, look in the uh, rope now the point the problem is like sometimes you get that nice uh, issues so how do you fix that if you are getting something like that so uh, you select that vertex okay and then enable the soft selection now uh, sometimes uh, you need to check your soft selection tools if you go to the soft selection here we have a uh, volume based uh, generally this is how your model might look so just you need to change it to surface and then what happens is that particular point okay um, can be selected without uh, selecting the top and then just you can just move it outside like that and move it up so keep adjusting the points uh, till you get the desired result there okay so you get that result and then you can assign a shader I'm um, delete the history and then I'll just bring back the layer here switch off this so you should be able to see that nice drapery uh, I don't say drapery but uh, a cloth which has been uh, as I told you, you need to refine this until you get the desired uh, look, but uh, it's of, uh, almost done. Yeah, the only thing is you need to refine, polish your model to your artistic requirements.